Hey guys, uh, welcome to day three, the day three update. Um, I am uh, down to 261 today, which is uh, two pounds, uh, well, two and a half pounds down from yesterday. So that's good. And uh, yeah, day three, um, you know, woke up feeling pretty crappy, but uh, to be expected, you know, the first five days are rough. And. Uh, they're really rough for me, man. Um, I've been really having a hard time concentrating and, uh, you know, focusing. And, you know, for for the last couple of days, it's just been like, you know, I, I can't, like, I haven't been working. I haven't been doing my job very well. And, you know, I just, it's, it's hard to concentrate on anything because, you know, it's like this cloud. And, uh, you know, I just got to turn that corner and get to day five and get, you know, into my pace and uh you know I'll feel a lot better so um but today what I want to talk about was uh options so uh obviously you know a lot of people talk uh about um or a lot of people ask me about uh well what do you do like if you're not home like what do you do if you're stuck somewhere like how do you you know stay on the juiced diet stay true and not completely just buckle under hunger um so if you uh tuned into my previous juice fasts then you probably uh, no, I was a, I was a big odd walla guy. Um, the superfood, the green juice that they do, uh, is 100% juice, and uh, you know that's always pretty much been my go-to um, when you know when I'm out and about or or when I'm just when I need something. A lot of times that hunger will be dehydration, so some coconut water or even just chugging a big thing of water will will resolve it, will fix it. Um, but uh, I am moving more away from the Adwalas because they're starting to get a little bit more processed. They have a larger lineup and, and a lot of their stuff is starting to have less and less pure juice in it. So uh, so I'm starting to kind of back away from them. Um, but what I did find though that's been really good, really helpful, is uh, this Trader Joe's stuff which is the uh, very green juice, as you can see here. Um, this isn't how it actually looks in the package. I, uh, I go to Trader Joe's and I buy a couple different kinds of like pure juices. They do like carrot juice, mango juice, you know, uh, certain stuff like that, tangerine juice. I buy a couple of those little things and then I'll buy like, you know, one or two of these and then I'll just kind of mix them together to kind of, you know, cover the whole spectrum of, of vitamins and, and nutrients and everything. And it's been working out great. I mean, you know, this stuff is awesome. It's, uh, it's a hundred percent, uh, you know, juice. It's, it's got, I mean, you know, look at, look at the stats on it. I mean, you can see on the bottom, uh, well, maybe you can't cause this camera's crappy, but you can see it's got spirulina, which is great. Uh, that's good stuff. That's only a nod while I never really get it in my, you know, own juices. It's, it's, I believe a root. Um, but uh, yeah, apple, uh, there's banana in here, which I don't get during my juice fast because I can't juice bananas and I don't have a blender to do smoothies. Um, it, it's got mango, pineapple juice, uh, kiwi, spirulina, chlorella, um, you know, it's got, uh, oh, and the dried greens blend, which is uh, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, ginger, blue-green algae, and parsley and garlic. Um, so these are things that I don't really get during my juice fast, with some of them anyway. Um, but this stuff is is actually great. It's really good. Uh, it tastes great. It's um, you know there's nothing in there, nothing from concentrate, which is you know kind of the the big thing. Um, so I've been doing that a lot. If you have a Trader Joe's near you, I would suggest uh, you know checking them out. They might have it. Um, but the other thing I wanted to talk about uh, today was hunger. So um, I should have prepare before I started recording this video, but I got a message from somebody last night, and uh, maybe I can just find it in my email easier. Um, I got a message from somebody last night who was a young man who uh, is very concerned about his weight and very concerned about um, his future. He's, he's very young. Um, sorry, I get a lot of emails. Uh, here it is. Okay, so uh, I, I'm not going to call him out or anything, but... Um, it is, it is, you know, something I want to help with and, and I want to directly address him, but, uh, he's, he's a 14 year old gentleman and, uh, he says he weighs 290 pounds. He wants to do a 100 day juice fast to lose all of his weight. Um, he's tried fasting other times. Uh, he's ever, he's never able to get past four days. And, uh, he says he was averaging about 90 ounces of juice, um, a day, <clears throat> Excuse me, which is which is quite a bit more than what I drink in a day. Um, I do about 
maybe 50 tops. So uh, he's, he's just asking about the cravings. It's, it's hard to fight. Do I have any tips, anything, you know, to, that I can help him with? Um, and uh, I mean, no. No, I'm sorry. There's just there's nothing. Like you're you're never when you're doing this there there's no way to bypass, to shut down, to, you know, mute the hunger. Like you're going to be hungry. You just are. Um, you know, and and like I said before, a lot of times that's just dehydration. So, um, you know, the two methods I do to uh, kind of counteract that is um, you know, coconut water is great. Uh, it's got sugar in it and uh, it's you know, incredibly hydrating, um, and, you know, it'll, it'll kind of shut that up immediately, but if you don't have that, then just chug water, I mean, I, I drink, on a juice fast, I drink, you know, near two gallons of water a day, and, you know, the water's great for hydration, because that helps with the weight loss, that helps expedite that process, um, but it's also great, because it's just kind of filling for a moment, you know, and it allows you to kind of, like, Stop thinking about that for a second, go on to something else, and then hopefully that something else, you know, distracts you enough and, and keeps you, you know, uh, away from, you know, temptation and, and eating those foods. But, you know, the, the short answer is no. There's no way, there's no tip, there's no trick, there's nothing that's going to solve that problem. There's nothing that's going to stop you from being hungry um, on this diet. I mean, you're just going to get hit with it every now and then. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, that's, that's the truth. I wish I could tell you something better. I wish I could tell you something easier. I wish I could tell you that, you know, there's this magical way, but, you know, to be honest, I mean, three days in this third juice fast is a lot more difficult than the first two. Um, but it's all matter of willpower. It's all matter of getting to that point with yourself and saying that, like, I'm just tired of this. I'm sick and tired of who I am. And I'm sick and tired of repeating the same things and wondering why nothing ever changes. So, you know, if, if, I mean, that's, that's just pretty much what you got to do. And luckily, you're young enough that, you know, you won't have the, the kind of problems um, that I have for waiting so long, you know. I mean, I'm 30 years old, and I waited a long time to do this. And, you know, as such, certain things in my body aren't going to bounce back in a great way. Um, but I will share this with you. When I was 16 years old, uh, I, I was very fat, too. I don't even know how much I weighed because I never weighed myself because, I mean, I was fat. <laughs> so, um, but when I was 16 years old, my parents took me to, uh, there was a, a clinic in PA. It was like, uh, it was right on business 30 in Exton. It was like the children's hospital clinic or something like that. And they took me there to meet with a, uh, uh, you know, a, a nutritionist. And basically what they came up with was something called the red, yellow, green diet. So essentially they found out my big thing was when I get home from school as a kid, I would be very hungry, so I would just down like four cups of, of iced tea. And it was like the crappy powdered iced tea mixed stuff. So it was like super sugary and really gross. And, you know, it was just something to fill me up until my parents got home and made dinner at like 5, 5.30 or whatever. Um, and so what happened was what we did was we basically went to the store with my parents and tried a bunch of different kinds of diet soda and diet drinks until eventually I found Diet Birch Beer and Diet Dr. Pepper. And those were the two that I could drink and actually enjoyed the taste of. Um, Diet Coke the same way, but it has to be like really, really cold, like super cold. Um, so once we kind of figured that out, I was like, okay. Now with that, the other big thing was, you know, sitting in front of TV, munching, like having a bag of chips there. Um, the idea was that if I'm going to do that, that's fine. But go into the kitchen, grab a plate and put the amount of chips of a serving onto the plate and then try and eat it more slowly. And uh, eating things slower helps too. Uh, but the big component of this diet and the, the titular aspect of it was the red, yellow, green thing, like for stoplights. So it would take potato, for instance, right? Your green level potato is going to be just a baked potato, just a regular baked potato, um, you know, white potato or, or sweet potato, whatever. Uh, your, your medium, your yellow, which is caution, is going to be something like French fries, uh, something that's, you know, fried or something that's, you know, higher in fat content, things like that. Um, and then, uh, you know, your absolute worst level of uh, potato is going to be, um, crap, I don't know, maybe potato, maybe french fries were the red, but uh, I remember it was something beyond that, but it, it's basically you take that, that idea with food, right, so you just try and like, okay, if I'm going to eat chips, like, I'll just eat baked, you know, Lay's, I won't go and buy Doritos or something like that, it's just, it's kind of about making common sense decisions with the, the base food, 
and uh, just kind of replacing that stuff. But the, but the fact that you're young, the fact that you're 14 means that if you actually do that red, yellow, green thing and you start to replace stuff, you don't have to exercise. You'll lose weight. When I was 16, I lost 100 pounds because of that diet. Like I just diet soda and making sure I counted out you know, the chips and stuff when I go sit down in front of the TV. And, uh, you know, over the course of like two months, three months or something like that, I shed so much weight. And, uh, you know, it was, it's a shame because I had all these pictures of me in Germany when I was in high school when I went to go visit, uh, skinny as hell. And uh, they're gone now. So, but, uh, but yeah, because you're young enough, you can actually do that because your body doesn't stop, uh, doesn't stop growing until you're 18. So that metabolism and everything is, is constantly developing. So if you do the, if you make those choices now and you, you kind of, you know, cut back some stuff, you'll be surprised at what results you see. So, but best of luck for that. Thanks for writing me. And, uh, you know, feel free to let me know if you need to know anything else, uh, if you, if you have any other questions or anything like that. So, all right, that's it. Uh, day three, I'm pumped. Going to get to it. Going to drink some more of my delicious Trader Joe's very green 100% smoothie that I am not taking any money from Trader Joe's for to advertise to all 12 of you people watching this video. See what I mean? Like, I can't even speak. That was the worst sentence ever. I'm just, goodbye. I'm sorry.